We're in Hale Hall here at Farmingdale State College for the Amazon Design Challenge. Amazon has been kind enough to sponsor a competition here on campus this weekend involving a number of students and addressing questions of loneliness and the development of community. And it's a very, very exciting project for Amazon and for our students. And um, I'm thrilled that they're willing to do this. And so in this design challenge, what we're trying to get people to do is think outside of the now and imagine a world, like be free to imagine what could come next. I had like a tiny idea of what I was going to be in. Like I knew we were designing something. I didn't know what exactly we were designing. I knew there were Amazon um, representatives that were going to help us. It's a big challenge. Uh, what we set out to do this weekend of just provoking the type of thinking to design a thriving community. And to do that, you have to make sure that the people you're designing for, about, and with are engaged and delighted by whatever it is that you design so that you enhance their lives. We are working with Amazon and a focus group to pretty much figure out how to develop a sense of community and bring in uh, people from different backgrounds together. I don't know what to expect. They send very cryptic emails and kind of like get prepped, but don't think too hard about anything. Day one, we just kind of settled into the challenge and learned what it was, did some research, thought about uh, how to frame our problem and determine what community we wanted to serve. So right now, we're working on rapid ideation. So we're spending the next seven minutes uh, quickly sketching out some thumbnails for potential solutions to the question that they've been able to propose for a particular customer, which in this case is how might we redefine relationships at an older age. Nobody gets anywhere without communicating. That's like the key to life. In relationships, in jobs, anywhere to promote your business. Communication is key and design is like a visual of communication. A thriving community means that there's growth, means that there are things happening that might be longer term as far as critical mass of building into a larger experience or larger value. A thriving community means that it is a positive experience. There is sort of a motivation to be welcomed into that community. You're enticed and attracted by that community to participate fully and where you're self-expressed and where you really do feel like you're supported. Design is all around us, we're surrounded by it, and then growing up and learning what design is, it became our world. In today's design challenge, I actually thought the exercise we did at the beginning where we all talked about where we came from and where we started our, our individual journeys in our first job. Every single person in the room came from a different economic background, a different cultural background, a different education level, discipline. So I think to really employ design and design moving forward, it's about bringing in different disciplines so that we're thinking a little bit differently, not just through one narrow lens. Like the broader range of experience we can possibly bring, the better. Design to me is problem solving. Design is uh, taking a pain point, a challenge, or a problem and trying to find a solution. Today they're really focusing in on the steps that Amazon wants to take them through in terms of creating the community. They may be doing some focus groups. Uh, anything they can do to really solidify their idea and make sure that it is based in the reality, the needs of the users they're trying to meet. So right now, they're each kind of working to their strengths. Uh, Cassandra is sketching out the persona, the proto persona that we've designed, who we're designing this experience for. Mark is doing some research so that we can uh, document the research that we found in the press release and FAQ that we're developing. This Mike over here is doing research on what the name of this product could be. And then Montana is also doing some sketching around what the experience is. What I love about this is it's a very altruistic product experience that's going to help a community and help people get back on their feet. We make a thriving community by taking everyone's ideas, turning it into something tangible, never shoot anyone's ideas down until we fully know if they're going to work or not. 
We've heard what you're interested in. Let's craft something around that and then let's tweak it as we go and we'll learn from each other to make it better. You have to collaborate. You have to be able to have an open mind expanding your horizons as far as your norm, what you know. You have to get outside of that and be different. They are going to pitch again at the end of the day, so they're going to hone that pitch of their concept. They're doing some research to make sure that the ideas that they came up with are based in fact and not just based on their idea of what fact is. It's been amazing to see the work of the students. They have embraced this challenge. They are here early this morning uh, doing their work. I know the Amazon team has been thrilled with the results we have thus far. And certainly we give a lot of credit to Cecilia Ambrose, who's a Farmingdale alum uh, and works at Amazon, and Associate Provost Allison Puff, who really brought this together. And so what we're asking is the technology or the constraints that you know now potentially in the future won't exist. And so anything's possible in that blank canvas. And so what would you add to it? Yeah, so we came up with a system that you could access it through an app. So we want the transfer student going to a new college to have easier access to resources, making meaningful connections. And it was more interactive throughout the campus. Uh, the winner, the winner of this challenge is the tree hugs. big, big uh, drive here. So we're all different majors, all different backgrounds, but we all worked very hard together and it really showed me, you know, if you work hard with others, you can make something great in a way. And 